Well, Bipon Kalia is the director for Securicore, a company that supplies CCTV security and surveillance equipment to organisations and private individuals. He joins us now live. Bipon, thanks for coming in. Uh, I guess it's a booming business for you, is it? It is. Um, at the moment, the use of CCTV is spreading not only throughout the UK, but throughout the rest of the world. Um, it's a fast-growing industry and new technology such as IP surveillance is actually helping drive that increase. And what are people watching? Generally, people are watching different things, from home users watching their home as to who's visiting or preventing any vandalism, to shopkeepers trying to prevent shoplifting, to councils that are actually trying to help keep the streets more safer. Um, the, the criticism today is that councils are, are overusing the powers, uh, using them to monitor trivial events. Is, is that your experience? It is to a degree, but I must side with the councils because as society we are failing to actually deal with crime, littering and fouling on our streets. So the council find themselves in a difficult position. Do they spend more money to put more policing on the road to combat these problems, which in turn will increase our taxes, or do they use CCTV surveillance cameras to help not only identify, but to deter and detect these problems? Conversely though, many people have a problem with being watched. You must understand that. What they fail to realise is they're already being watched in a different means. Uh, for example, using your Oyster card every day, you're leaving a trace of where you've been. Your credit card actually leaves a record of where you've been, what you've been looking at, and so does your internet use. Being watched really is just uh, not only helping you, but actually helping you feel safe at the end of the day. But when there are things happening like being watched, uh, being prosecuted then for dog fouling or littering the streets, does it not make people paranoid? I mean, do you have CCTV watching your house? I do. Now, I have a particular problem with dogs fouling outside my house. Now, what happens is the council and the police are unable to act because of the lack of ed evidence or the lack of resources. So now with CCTV on my own home, I'm able to provide that evidence to the police but I would actually beforehand approach the perpetrator and actually discuss the matter with them. Does it not just make us even more suspicious as a society, watching each other? Unfortunately it does, but surveillance is inevitable. Like I said, as a society we have failed in our responsibility to keep a safe society, to stop antisocial behaviour on the road, to stop littering, to stop fouling. Because these problems haven't been addressed by society, the council have no choice but to take up this fire. Uh, the, the bottom line of the argument that we're hearing today is that these surveillance powers were put in place uh, post 9-11, post July the 7th, that they were for, to watch serious criminals, terror suspects and people like that. Are they, in your experience, still being used for that? They are, but I do agree that there needs to be clear debate and legislation on CCTV data is used. For example, maybe littering and, for example, other, other actions could be quite trivial. So I think we really need to look at the debate on how the CCTV data is used and have clear legislation on what councils can do with that information. Bipon Kalia, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you indeed. very much. Thank you.